Their pitiful cries have been heard and their vulnerability to the fast spreading Zika virus is finally getting the attention it deserves. Tonight, the World Health Organization has declared the disease a global emergency. Members of the committee agree that the situation meets the conditions for a public health emergency of international concern. Because the mosquito population that carries this infection is not under control. But now global health officials under international law can call on countries worldwide to assist with the problem. It really triggers a concerted international effort. That is likely to unlock uh, resources, money, research opportunities. I think they have learned from the Ebola outbreak and I think it's generally recognised that there they did drop the ball. So the response to this epidemic could help revive the World Health Organization's reputation because as many as four million people could become infected with the Zika virus. Scientists think it's linked to microcephaly whereby babies are born with abnormally small heads and brain damage. With no vaccine for Zika, declaring a global health emergency will help control the outbreak with a coordinated international response, but without any travel or trade bans. A major focus is this summer's Rio Olympics, but Brazil's president says it won't be cancelled despite concerns. While people are there um, visiting the country tourists, then there is a chance that they can become infected and then bring the virus back uh, to the country of origin. It is an epidemic that's taken the world by surprise. But today was the global wake-up call. Now words must be backed up with decisive action. Lucy Watson, News at 10.